What's up, everybody? Yeah, welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today, we're talking about hacking your sleep for dramatic fat loss, muscle gain, strength building, improved energy, and anti-aging. Like, holy cow, Dolce selling us steroids. No, actually, I'm not selling you anything. I am sharing evergreen principles that are proven to dramatically improve your life, but they are not commonly shared among social media and YouTube fitness because, well, people can't monetize it. And that's okay because I want you to look better, live better, feel better, live better, longer, right? That's what we're doing here. So thank you guys for being a part of it. Click the links below. Check out our sponsors, MerrickHealth.com to get your blood work checked. If you have not gotten your blood work checked in the last 12 months, shame on you. You are a ticking time bomb right now. Real talk. You are a ticking time bomb right now. Yes, I'm speaking with you. You, I'm speaking with you right now. If you have not gotten your blood work checked and you are 35 years or older, ooh, you're a ticking time bomb. You should be terrified of what's going on inside. That's why we partnered with MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce so you can get the most comprehensive and affordable blood work reviewed by myself and our team of medical experts at Merrick Health. And what I'm giving you guys right now from July 1st through July 5th, anyone who goes to MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce, click the link below, and you set yourself up with a comprehensive blood panel, the full body male panel or female panel, anyone, regardless of age, I will review your blood work with you in a 15-minute consultation for free, no charge. No charge! If you go right now, because you must do this, your health is the most important asset you have, and everything I talk about means absolutely nothing if you are not focused on improving your health, maintaining your health, managing your health, and you cannot do any of that if you are not measuring your health by getting comprehensive blood work done. That, that's all. I, what more can I do? I'm going to give you a free consultation by simply taking control of your life and your health. Come on now. Come on now. All you have to do is click the link below, MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce. Sign up for the full male panel or the full female panel. Once you get set up with that, send me an email to Gabby, my assistant, G-A-B-B-Y, Gabby at VDolceDiet.com. Say you just signed up with Merrick Health. Gabby will ask you a couple questions about when your test date is and get you on my calendar to do the review. What this is free. I get no, I get nothing, nothing. I do not get paid for this, by the way. Merrick Health does not pay me if you click, if you buy, or if you don't buy. They don't pay me for that. They sponsor the show, and hopefully you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I don't get any extra if you sign up or if you don't sign up. That is the truth. I get paid absolutely nothing from Merrick or you by doing the free consult. Hopefully, this shows you how invested I am in your health, in your wellness. So from July 1st through July 5th. Anyone who just signs up, again, by clicking the link below, I will give you a free 15-minute consult and run through your blood work with you and give you my, my thoughts, my opinions, my recommendations. This is a smoking deal, my friends, and it's not going to last long. So act now. Again, 35 and older, shame on you. 30 and older, if you're 30 years old, 25 years old, you haven't gotten your blood work done, you are not optimizing your health and fitness. All the hard work you're putting in, all the training, all the diet, all the pseudo-supplementing you're doing is a freaking waste because you don't even have your blood work as a baseline to know if what you're doing is making sense or not, if it's even needed or not. Likely, just by signing up at MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce, getting the full male, full female panel done, you're probably going to save more money throughout the year on all the wasted time, energy, and products you're purchasing that you don't even need because you're not optimizing your health. I can guarantee you, you are wasting precious time, precious energy on a fool's errand, not optimizing your health. I use MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce. My wife uses MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce, our VIP private elite client. Use MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce. Why don't you? All right, now, whoo. Huge, huge, huge. I, I was supposed to be like a 10-second live read, but I get so passionate because I 
spoke with someone. I don't want to divulge their information because they're a fan of the show. I spoke with someone very recently who is not taking good care of themselves and they have a family and they are not where they need to be. They are externally, it is very clear and very obvious they are not living their lifestyle and they have the money to do so. They have the education to do so. They have the knowledge to do so. They're not taking care of it. They're not putting their health first. They're not utilizing comprehensive blood work to identify any issues, any imbalances, any limitations that they currently have. So my team and I and the Merrick team and your medical doctor or whomever else can actually strategize a highly comprehensive program to get you dramatically moving forward with your health and fitness. And it makes me so mad that people just sit there and let life go by them and their health declines, 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 declines. They won't, they, they, they whine and whinge and, and moan and groan and complain that they don't look as good as they want to. They don't feel as good as they want to. Their, their health starts to slide. They got the bags under their eyes. Their ass starts to sag. They get the droopy man boobs. They get the, the fat around their waist. It just won't go away. What do you think about intermittent fasting, Dolce? What do you think about keto, Dolce? What do you think about carnivore, Dolce? What do you think about fit teas, Dolce? Yeah, okay. Have you gotten blood work done? Oh, no. Why? Well, I don't have the time to do it. Oh, it's expensive. Bull crap. Bull crap. Bull crap. You're wasting time. You're wasting money on all the other fool's errands that pay you zero dividends in return. You get nothing in return except you slide backwards. And I'm looking at you because you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking to you right now. I'm talking to you right now because you know that's true. Anyway, again, I'm ranting again. Sleep hack. Here we go. All right. Sleep hack. And I'm going to make it super quick. There is so much information about the millionaire morning, the golden hour. The first hour of the day is the most important. Jocko waking up at 4.30 in the morning. Are you kidding me? Waking up before 5 a.m., before 5 the 5 a.m. club. Right? All of that. The, the, the waking up. How about this? Waking up at 5 a.m. and then taking the Wim Hof cold shower. That is such a waste of your time if you are not getting deep, restful, high quality sleep, which you're likely not getting deep, restful, high quality sleep. I don't care what you do in the first hour. I don't care if you wake up at 4.30 a.m. and go for a, a, a three mile ruck and take an ice cold shower afterwards and rub turmeric and cayenne pepper on your balls. I don't care about that. It's not going to do anything for you if you are not getting deep, restful sleep. And how do you get deep, restful sleep? Well, you have to, number one, give yourself enough time to actually fall into a deep state of sleep and stay in bed long enough to get high quality, high duration sleep. Science clearly has shown and states over and over and over and over in thousands and thousands of studies the optimal amount of time to sleep is in excess of seven and a half, seven hours, in excess of seven hours at the low end, optimally between seven and a half and nine hours. And these are based on 90 minute sleep cycles. The first four sleep cycles you have, the first six hours of sleep, I don't want to say are throwaway, but they're barely enough to get you out of bed at the same level you were the day before. The first four or the first six hours of sleep is barely enough. And most of the time in high stress environments, high stress lifestyles, high stress physicality, most of the time, six hours is not enough time to repair all the damage incurred from the day before. So if you sleep six hours, you are likely waking up slightly less than you were the day before. Slowly but surely, you are declining. Your health is declining. Your physicality is declining. Your cognition is declining. And your immunity is declining. You are much prone to getting hurt and to getting sick. In short term, in long term, you are much more prone to adding body fat, losing muscle tissue, and suffering from a multitude of health conditions. All because you are not sleeping optimally, which is not six hours, not six and a half hours. It is in excess of seven hours. And all of science shows seven and a half to nine hours is the Goldilocks zone of sleep. So what does this mean to you? This does not mean if you have to wake, let's say you have to wake up at 7 a.m. Most people who have to wake up at 7 a.m., they go to bed at midnight. 
thinking, oh, I'll get seven hours. No, you're going to bed at midnight. You wake up at seven. So when you go to bed at midnight, you're not falling asleep at midnight. You're falling asleep at 1215, 1232, 1246. And that first little bit of sleep isn't even sleep. Your body falls asleep in stages. That doesn't count. The first 15 to 45 minutes of sleep, you're not even truly asleep yet. You're in a twilight zone that doesn't even count to the total accumulation of sleep hours. So that being said, you're going to bed at midnight. You're waking up at seven. You're barely getting six hours of sleep at best. You think you're getting seven hours, but you don't understand why you have these saddlebags growing under your ass and you're just foggy thinking all day long you're not getting enough sleep it's as simple as that i don't care how many cold showers you take first thing in the morning they will not cure stupidity and that is what you are showing when you're going to bed seven hours before you have to wake up or even eight hours if you go to bed let's say you have to wake up at seven so you're going to bed you're being a good little boy a good little girl you're going to bed at 11 p.m you have to wake up at 7 a.m you're you're tiptoeing up to bed you lay down 11 o'clock ah your head's on the pillow and what happens you scroll the gram, you peruse the YouTube, you clip the dick talk, the, 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 the dick talk, it should be, the TikTok. And all of a sudden, before you know it, 10, 20, 30 minutes pass by. So now you're in bed eight hours before you're supposed to wake up, but you're barely getting seven and a half hours of actual eye shut sleep. And of that, less than seven hours is high quality sleep because you had that 15 to 45 minute twilight once again. The only way to truly ensure you're getting deep restful sleep is to be in bed nine hours before you're scheduled to wake up. I've said this a million times. I will say this a million more. If you have to wake up at 7 a.m., you must, you must be in bed no later than 10 p.m. And back that down. If you have to wake up at 6, well, guess what, Prince says? You better be in bed at 9 p.m. But Dolce, that's not enough time. I need time to unwind. Bullshit. That is that is your idiotic emotions, mamby pamby baby four year old attitude talking. You need to reorganize, restructure your life to make sure you're in bed nine hours before you're scheduled to wake up. Why is this? Because when we go to bed, that's where we start to unwind. That's where we read a little bit of news clippings. That's where we look at what our idiot family is up to on Facebook. That's where we check out a few little G-string bouncing around, twerking backsides on Instagram. That's where we go down to the, the conspiracy theorist rabbit hole on TikTok. Then we put our phone down and, ho oh, hey, there's our significant other looking all tasty next to us. That's where we might participate in a little consensual adult activity before two minutes later when we finally fall asleep guess what you're doing all of that in like 15 to 45 minutes or so which means now you are guaranteed to get that seven and a half hours or greater of sleep taking into consideration the 15 to 45 minutes of twilight that we don't count here that is not deep it is not restful sleep right so let's say you're burning 45 minutes being a pervert before you fall asleep, and then you're burning another 45 minutes trying to fall asleep. Well, that 90 minutes right there puts you at the bare minimum seven and a half hours. You've guaranteed yourself a deep, restful sleep that night. And in time, in practice, let me tell you, I'm asleep within two minutes. When I decide to fall asleep, boom, I am done. That, I used to be an insomniac, by the way. It took time and persistence and practice and developing a nighttime routine. Now, bonus right here. What do we do? An hour to two hours before it's time, it's bedtime, like by eight o'clock at night in my house, all the overhead lights are off. All the volume, all the decibel level is super low. Everything is on the, the blue, blue ray, blue light um, reducing mode. We only use floor lamps and candles in my house after 8 p.m. Everything becomes calm. The sound is calm. The TV's quiet. Everything's quiet. Low stimulation after 8 o'clock in my household, which is a part of the sleep routine. You need to build an easy, simple, uh, replicatable sleep routine that then transitions into your bed routine. 
And then the bed routine is your actual fall to sleep routine. What do you guys think about that? Leave comments below. Bang, bang. Definitely give this video a thumbs up for all this valuable content and click that link to MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce and get your blood work done. Get your blood work done. Jesus Christmas. Get your blood work done. Live longer, better, and let me help you. Free consultation for everyone who signs up between July 1st and July 5th. Send Gabby an email, gabby at thedolcediet.com with your confirmation of the male panel or the female panel that I chose for you. The most important blood test you need to get done. I selected in the male panel and female panel. Uh, these are the ones that I get done consistently four times per year because I'm a madman. I get my blood done like six, seven, eight times per year because I track all the data and I'm like so particular about that. The bicep of truth, ladies and gentlemen, you do not grow biceps of truth without getting your blood work done. Um, all right, that's it. I'm being an idiot now. Until next time, boom.